And we played it hard and tough We knew the game would make its mark And we didn't mind it rough We made our game Australian And we booted it our way We broke the rules Australian style And footy came to stay It's our Australian football Played the way it's meant to be You can feel it any Saturday At any game to showers it's pure australian football this mighty game is ours from the towns up in the bush to the cities with the towers it's pure australian football this mighty game is ours aussie skill and courage aussie strength and power it's pure australian football this mighty game is ours It's pure Australian football This mighty game is ours Tonight, in an action-packed split-round edition of Seven's Big League Hawthorne and Collingwood battle it out at Beerfell Park Fitzroy North Melbourne struggle for supremacy at the Junction Oval And Carlton turn on a brilliant second quarter against Fitzroy of Princess Park and a very good evening everyone Welcome to the special Queen's birthday edition of Seven's Big League First of all, to VFL Park, and Hawthorne and Collingwood hold the record for the biggest crowd at VFL Park, and that was 90,935, also on the Queen's birthday, and that was set back in 1981. Today, there was another huge crowd there, with just over 62,000 turning out to see the Magpies and the Hawks do battle. Last round, both teams had surprisingly been beaten. Hawthorne by a much improved Geelong combination, while we all know what happened to the Woods out at the Western Oval. For today's game, club selectors for both teams had played their cards pretty close to their chest by announcing squads of 23 players for the clash uh, rather than naming a side. In earlier times, of course, the Magpies almost invariably beat Hawthorne by a large margin. Of late, however, the boots beat on the other foot with the Hawks winning the last four encounters. Tonight, our replay begins at the seven minute mark of the second quarter. And with me in the commentary box is Lou Richards. Has to be a free kick. Has to be a free kick. So is a chance. They worked hard for that, Collingwood. A diabolical tap. Barr may have stayed, but it was a good effort no, by Barr to tap that down. Till he got it down. Now he's grabbed, hasn't got the ball. Didn't and got, it, Lou. He gets the free kick. Right on the kickoff mark, only about seven metres out from goal, and Barham's already kicked one. That first one coming in the, in the uh, early part of the first quarter from a beautiful left foot snapshot. There's the kick on its way. He hasn't missed. So the difference is only four points now. Collingwood 6-2, 38 to Hawthorne, 6-6, 42. Very poor tackle left by Chris Mew. Barham has kicked two goals. I suppose that nullifies some of the good work of D.P. Domenico, who's currently playing on him. Here it is. Good, good knockout. He could. He was against two big guys there, Pete. He was. And Collingwood got the goal from the free kick. Williams 3, Barham 2, the leading goal kickers for Collingwood. Brereton 3, Judge 2 for Hawthorne. Matthews has kicked, uh, what, five or six points now? Five. So you lose a game. 38 to 42 in favour of Hawthorne, but they led by four goals earlier. They'll get a free kick. Over the line. Yeah, that's unforgivable, that. Byrne wobbles the punt kick up to half forward. Matthews 